Hello, this is Travis Booth with the National Weather Service in Missoula, and I'm here with your Thursday fire weather briefing for October 29th. And this will be the last fire weather briefing of the season. Primary concerns in the next week include an increasing chance of wetting rains today and into Friday, with cool, wet, and breezy conditions over the weekend. Even colder temperatures with occasional snow showers are anticipated early next week. If we look at our recent water vapor images beginning Wednesday afternoon continuing through this morning, we see a weak disturbance dropping down from British Columbia, which has led to cool and unsettled conditions today. A large stream of moisture is seen off the Pacific Northwest coast. This will begin to impact the northern Rockies on Friday and continue through the weekend bringing widespread valley rainfall and high elevation snow. Periods of showers, cool temperatures, increasing breezes, and relatively high humidity values will continue today into Friday. The graphic shows the chance of precipitation for Friday afternoon. You can see the uh, chances are very high, so definitely expect to see at least some rain in most areas. Amounts tend, will tend to be light today, with the chance of wetting rains increasing on Friday. As mentioned, afternoon uh, relative humidity values will remain fairly high both today and tomorrow, which could limit some burning activities. Also, higher elevations will begin to feel the effects of the increasing westerly flow with breezy winds on Friday. Widespread wet weather will begin late Friday and continue through the weekend. The higher terrain of central Idaho into northwest Montana is expected to see over two inches of precipitation with the mountains of central Idaho potentially seeing four to six inches of precipitation. Many valley locations will see between a half and one inch of moisture. Please see the graphic for additional details. The main concern with all this rainfall will be the threat of debris flows near steep slopes on those susceptible highways and along forest roads. Snow levels overall will remain in the seven to 8,000 foot range until later on Sunday when they will decrease to around 6,000 foot. Also of interest on Saturday will be the winds, with valley gusts in the teens and 20s, with gusts over 40 miles per hour for some of the mountains. Looking a bit further ahead, there is decent agreement amongst forecast models regarding the 6 to 10 day period, with the overall pattern supporting an increased likelihood for below normal temperatures. It also looks to be fairly showery next week, <clears throat> which may be in the form of snow showers all the way down to the valley floors. Thank you for listening. This is the last fire weather briefing of the 2015 fire season with the next scheduled briefing for the spring of 2016. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at the Weather Service anytime. Thank you.